name is Haley. I'm a third grader and I come from Avocado Elementary School. And I have two questions. Have you ever seen someone alone on the playground or at lunch? Have you ever heard someone tell another person, you can't play with us? This is a type of bullying. Now what I am here to talk about is the issue of kids not having empathy and making classmates feel like they didn't belong. I think this is how we can get to the heart of bullying. Having empathy can erase the world from bullying because it can change the way you react. Empathy means you understand someone else's feelings. But for me personally, I feel sad when someone doesn't have anyone to play with or eat with at lunch or you see them crying because of a bully. I know I don't like being alone. So if I see someone who is, I try to cheer them up by inviting them to play with me. I don't want kids to feel alone. Kids should talk to someone they trust and tell them what's going on. So next time, if you're being bullied or you feel like you have no one to play with, you're not tattling, well, if you give them chances, you can get through a situation with a bully by keeping your attitude bright, and your life will shine up to one. Take a deep breath and walk away. Show them that you care and even try to include them. But if they don't, say thanks anyway. Even Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did that. He got hit with a baseball bat and said thanks. My best friends, Brooke and Sophia, can get me through anything. But the best thing they can get me through is by being a strong friend. I believe that everyone should have strong friends like Brooke and Sophia. Sometimes, kids who get bullied may not have strong friends like them. And I think they should. Have you, have, have you ever heard of the Sandy Hook promise? They have started a program in schools called Start With Hello. And it's to help kids who feel lonely inside at school. You can just stop by and say hello to anyone who is alone or sitting by themselves. It is easy, it doesn't cost anything, just a big heart. I think we need a buddy bunch at every single school, including mine. In this book we ran in our class, called The Kid's Guide to Being Awesome, Kid President wants the world to be a better place. He interviewed, this kid, he interviewed this kid named Christian who started the buddy bench, where you can find someone to play with or talk with. Maybe even find your best buddy forever. The buddy bench is a simple bench that you can sit on if you don't have anyone to play with. If someone sees you on the bench, they can go talk to you, ask you if you want to play with them. I think the Buddy Bench is a great idea to help make the school a better place. And it helps kids feel like they are not alone. I know I am a kid against bullying. I speak up when I see bullying. We talk to others who are bullied. And I am a friend whenever and wherever I see bullying. I believe that everyone has a right to go to a school where they feel safe, included, valued, and accepted regardless of their differences. Please join me in this pledge. I pledge to be respectful of others and stand up against bullying whenever and wherever I see it. You can stop now. <laughs> I have two more questions. Have you tried to find someone who may need a friend? Have you said hello to a new person today? Maybe if we could get kids to start thinking of these questions, we can get to the heart of bullying and end feelings of loneliness at school. Thank you.